Czech media that are here and the Czech canoe team here to watch on now. Hannes Agner. Yeah, we know Hannes knows how to deliver on this course. He's done it so many times before. Um, so it'll be exciting to see what he can put down today. Two-time Olympic bronze medalist. Um, former world champion as well. I mean, the man has done it all. I would be interested. I, I thought that maybe after Tokyo, Chris, that he might give it away. But here he is. He's having a crack at another Olympic campaign. Yeah, I think he's just enjoying it and enjoying the, the sort of the experience and being out there. Uh, we know... Sh Sebastian Schubert, who he probably has grew up and paddled with most, has retired, but he's still carried on and still been really strong and putting some really good performances. Just see him getting caught up on gate 11 there. I guess when you've won two bronze medals, he probably just has that, that inkling that he might be able to go and win a, a medal of a different colour in Paris if he can paddle at his very, very best. It's, uh, it's going to be a tough ask. He's already 34, so he'll be 35 by Paris next year. But age is just a number, Chris. Yeah, we know that. I mean, you've got some great performers here at that age. So, I mean, certainly uh, doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, yeah, see what you can do today. And that S was really nice there. He got away really well. And I think hopefully that should have made him some time up. He needed, to, he needed to pick up some time somewhere. He got a bit stuck there. Uh, at the top part, oh, he got oh. stuck there as well. He's getting caught out on that, but we know that 1.3 seconds is up Noah's time, which is leading still by 1.3 seconds. So he could be in touch for that sort of top five position, which may be enough then to get him into that final. He'll come through now in fifth position. Oh, I don't know that I'd like to be there. With the quality of paddlers still to come, I, I think I'd feel a little bit uh, uneasy about sitting fifth with...